everyone. So here we are in New Mexico. This is John Briggs and we thought it would be fun to shoot a little video today and show you his facility. So yeah, it's great uh, to be here with you Caroline and um, we are at uh, FOA Observatory which stands for Friends on a Hill Observatory. When I started it I was thinking of the Beatles song Fool on a Hill but then enough uh, other people got involved, we decided to change the name. Um, but we're going to uh, take a walk up uh, to the a dome right behind us. The altitude is 6,500 feet, and a, a lot of the mountains around us are going up uh, to 10,000 feet or so. And it's really a wonderful sight. Though yesterday, the wind was blowing so hard, it was hard to even stand up here. But it's much more benign today. So, as yeah, that that's okay. Okay. so take it, let's go. Yeah. The dome is surplus from White Sands Missile Range, and it originally had something called a Cine Theodolite in it, um, a, t uh, a movie camera attached with a telescope, and two people rode with the mounting um, to, make, to, to, to guide the tracking of missiles. We're not terribly far away from White Sands Missile Range, an Army facility here in New Mexico, and things like this are available government surplus. The whole observatory is on a trailer, but the center mount of it um, lowers hydraulically down to the ground, so the telescope uh, uh, inside ends up uh, resting independent of the trailer, securely on solid ground. So come on in and uh, take a look around. Phillips students are already using some data that we've taken with this telescope. It's a 16 inch uh, Ritchie Crichton reflector and it's on a computer controlled mounting, a paramount by Software Fisk. And we have a microwave internet connection up here so the telescope can be operated remotely you know, over the internet, a lot like the telescope that Phillips, and we have a CCD uh, electronic camera. Uh, interestingly, the, the telescope is owned by a man in Switzerland who's given it to us on long-term loan, and it's just a really nice telescope to have here at this site. And it has a, a filter wheel with color filters so we can take uh, very beautiful color celestial photography. Photographs if we want, um, but uh, simply using the clear filter for science exposures of asteroids or variable stars um, is is, a, is an easy thing to do. Uh, it says the students are familiar with uh, a control room setup. Maybe we should show them the control yeah. room. Yeah, this, yeah. this is the computer that's operating the telescope, but John can remote onto this computer from down the hill. Yeah, I use uh, TeamViewer software uh, that allows me just to do a remote desktop to this machine from my house or from anywhere. And uh, it works pretty well. Right now, um, everything but the dome is remote control. However, uh, the dome rotate, the dome has such a wide slit that I can just rotate the dome by hand to the part of the sky where we want to work and typically I'm good to follow something for half the night. Um, eventually we'll have a motor uh, computerized so that the dome rotation will, like everything else, will be run remote control and that'll be real sweet. 
because I won't have to come up here in the middle of the night just to rotate the dome. But the camera, the filter wheel, the motion of the telescope, all that is, and of course, yeah, the exposures and everything, the focus of the telescope, all that can be done uh, remotely. Uh, but it's nice having an excuse to come up here because the site is so beautiful and just the, the things you see at night, um, uh, it's, I enjoy coming up here to rotate the dome when I have to. Uh, but when it's really cold, uh, it's, it's a drag. John, it occurs to me that it would be cool to show how the dome rotates. Since sure. Students will not be familiar with this. Uh... Sure. I, I am uh, uh, the dome rotation mechanism, so I just uh, 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 put my back into it. Oh, there it uh, is. <laughs> so that. Oh, there you go. There. But it's a real, it's a really nice dome. It's only ten feet in diameter. It was made for tra tracking missiles uh, during the Cold War, so uh, they weren't fooling around. And it's it's nice dome, and though it was kind of a strain for for my truck towing it up here because it's a pretty heavy trailer, um, and the road up here is really kind of steep, but. But in four-wheel lull, uh, we succeed. I wonder if we should end by having you close the dome. Well, let's see. Tell you what. Why don't you Get reach? In here. Yeah. If you uh, put your hand around the outside. Yeah. Yeah, and you'll find this. Oh, I yeah. see. Pull right. that over in this direction. Well, that goes first. And then. Tell you what, you it? do it. Yeah, you do it. All right. That's right. That's awesome. Yeah. Old school. Simple as that. Yeah. Piece of cake. <laughs>